I am looking at the whole world right now, what's going on. I knew that this was coming because I was told the, what was coming about mm -hmm. six months ago. And I started buying extra supplies, buying extra water and food and dry yes. foods, etc. I started doing that a while back. And so I knew that this situation was coming because uh, because I have a friend, a dear friend who works with me. I talk to him almost every day. He's one of my closest friends in this world. He is a master at reading astrology the way Nostradamus did it. Yeah. It's not regular astrology. It's Nostradamus astrology. Mm -hmm. How Nostradamus read the stars. Mm -hmm. And every time my friend who is a master, who was a real master at Nostradamus astrology, when my friend tells me something, I know he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. And he told me like six months ago, get ready because the world is going to come into a terrible catastrophe. It's going to be some kind of a disease which will be, of course, he said, it will be some kind of a biological weapons that's wow. going to be released on the world. <clears throat> and he said right around, around the springtime, just before spring, it's going to hit, and it's going to have to be, and you're going to be seeing cities being shut down, schools, markets, stores being shut down, and he told me all of this six months ago. Mm -hmm. And he is sensational when it comes to telling the future because he really knows what he's doing. When he tells me something is coming because, because of the astrological symbols, I listen because I know he's right. And he was right. So I asked him <clears throat> to explain to me so what is the rest of the story? So now what's going to happen? And he told me, he said, what is happening now and what is going to happen, you need to understand it doesn't have anything to do with politics. It has to do with the stars mm -hmm. because I already saw this coming a long time ago in the astronomical symbols in the sky, the stars telling me. And if you know how to read the stars like Nostradamus did it, you can tell the future. And mm -hmm. he says, so I'm telling you what's going to happen. And that's a, it's an incredible story about what's coming on mm -hmm. the earth. You know, you, you know, during the super rich, they have built or they've been building some, you know, uh, luxury bunkers and some of them, they already have jetted off to uh, to these bunkers, and, and I'm not uh -huh. I'm not making this up. Uh, uh, they're no, self isolated for some world's riches means COVID nineteen tests abroad, yep. personal medics and subterranean hideouts. This is from the Guardian. It's uh, like a mainstream. You're right. Paper. Yeah, because they knew what that was coming. Why? Because they're the ones that developed the disease and put it out into the world so that we could catch it. Mm -hmm. They want to, they want to lower the population down because they know there's too many people. We don't have enough food. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough fresh water. We don't have enough wherewithal to maintain the billions, the billions of people mm -hmm. that are reproducing like like uh, like animals. They're reproducing like rabbits. The human race is just reproducing itself off, off, the, off the earth. And so the more we just keep reproducing ourselves, the more babies that are being born, the more babies that are growing up to have more babies that will be born. We just keep reproducing and reproducing until finally we got over almost 8 billion people. <laughs> and that, of course, will be multiplied by 2, and soon we'll have... 16 billion people. 
but, but the people the people sorry to interrupt you to break it down here uh, uh people in in america and you know overall white people in europe they actually are getting very old i mean they they're not reproducing like they're not having offspring like they no, used to I know have. that i know that but so this is more they, like india and, and muslim countries right. or China. that's right and the reason why the so-called caucasian people are not reproducing as much is because they're smart enough to know what's getting ready to happen mm -hmm. they're smart enough to know what's coming and so they're getting ready by not having children get ready for what's coming because they know when the world keeps reproducing and reproducing again and again and again, there's going to come a time when there's going to be too many billions of people mm -hmm. on the earth, mm -hmm. not enough food, not enough water, not enough of anything, supplies mm -hmm. to keep the human family alive. But the people who are ignorant, ill-informed, unread, have no idea in the world what's going on. They All they know how to do is just keep reproducing, having babies, keep and reproducing, eating. and having babies. Be because I got some numbers here. I'm going to throw some numbers at you here now. Uh, between age zero and, and 39, there are basically very few cases, you know, that people die of these things. So between zero and 39... Even you can push it to, to 49, the, basically 0 to 39, nobody dies of this virus. That's, that's really strange. So that points out to um, uh, probably a bioweapon. And then uh, another number I have is actually the number of uh, um, deaths increases when you go over 59. You know, 59 overall, like 80, 89, 90. Huh? Uh, it is like twenty percent, you know, of yeah. death. But the 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 other the other ages, you know, from zero to to forty nine is like almost zero. You know, it starts increasing. You know, fifty over like one percent, three percent, twelve twelve percent, seven seventy nine, eight. And it, it seems that it attacks actually uh, uh, is more aggressive towards Asians because some Asian people, the numbers I've seen really die between twenty and forty. And, and also um, Arabs, you know, some of the Arabs from Asia Minor, you know, Iranians, Iraqis, and, and some other, you know, Saudi Arabia and all these um, Arab countries, you know, there's a different race too, you know. So they don't have these inhibitors that Caucasian and even African might have. What, what, what do you think about this? I mean, this points out it could be a weapon, right? Yeah, it's a weapon, all right. We know it's a weapon. That much we know it's a weapon, man-made weapon. And so, but what I'm saying is what's coming, that's what's very important to me, is what is going to happen here soon in America? Because this is where I live, so naturally I'm concerned about my own country. Of course. The people of my country. And mm -hmm. so I know what's coming. I've already seen it. Mm -hmm. Because this, this, can, this can only, you know, probably get worse for a while and then, it's going to be a, like a big uh, uh, economy crash, you know? I mean, this is going to destabilize all the uh, economic, you know, system we have. What, what do you well, think? Well, let me tell you what I was told. Uh, from the guy who I trust explicitly, who mm -hmm. always is right, he told me. He said a lot of people are worried and concerned about this virus, this coronavirus. Yeah. And you're seeing cities and counties and schools and businesses being shut down. But a lot of people think that this will pass. This, this is just something for the moment. It'll pass and everything will be all right later on. And he said, but no. No. That's not what the stars say. The stars are saying that the whole entire globe of the earth is going to be in the most critical condition Condition that you cannot believe how bad it will be by October. October, mm -hmm. the first week in October, you will begin to see the complete Shut down of civilization. It's wow. going to be horrible. It's going to be a tragic 
event that um, that the human race has never experienced together. We've never had anything like this coming. He said it will start in probably in February or March of this year. I was told six months ago. You will begin to see the beginnings of what was coming, he said, like in February. Mm. And then by March, you will see it happening where the uh, cities and states and countries are being shut down. And he said, but wait till October. October is when the entire world of mankind, all countries are going to be involved in some kind of a major, major shutdown, which is going to cause political and social unrest Mm -hmm. on a scale that we've never had to deal with before. It's going to be a magnificent, incredible catastrophe that's coming, and it won't hit here till about October. After October, for about a year and five months, or a year and four months from October of this year, forward for about a year and a half, a year and four months, you're going to see the most incredible shutdown of human civilization on the earth, and it's going to affect the entire globe. And there's nothing you can do about it because it doesn't have anything to do with politics or government. Or economy or whatever. It has to do with the stars. (laughs) And while people think the stars uh, and the astrology is a bunch of bull, well, wait till October when I'm telling you you're going to see a catastrophe on a worldwide scale you've never seen before in your life, and you have never dreamed that such a thing could happen. Mm -hmm. Well, wait till you see October, because in October, the whole Earth, the globe of the Earth is going to move into an astrological sign of Scorpio. And the God in Scorpio, the God connected to Scorpio is Mars. Mars, yeah. Well, Mars is the god of war, and Scorpio is deadly. Scorpions are deadly, and Mars is war. And the whole Earth is going to move into the constellation of Scorpio in October. And that implies it's going to be a deadly, deadly Mm -hmm. war, some kind of a deadly experience the world has never seen before. And there's going to be God, the God of war, will be officiating over that sign in the heavens according to the astrological configurations of Mm -hmm. of Nostradamus. We're going to see an incredible outbreak on the earth where all over the world things are going to be shut down. You think it's bad now? Wait till October comes. It's going to get worse. It's going to be far worse than you even imagine. And do, do you th- do you think like brotherhood and some kind of like you know uh, civility within within people will 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 get them together and stuff like that and 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 get out of this situation? Like, well, I don't know, but like I said, it has nothing to do with politics. This has to do with mm-hmm. the stars. And if you understand, if you understand and you're blessed to be able to have an open mm-hmm. mind and read and educate yourself and prepare yourself, if you understand how the stars work and how they impact the earth, and when the stars are in a constellation and the earth is moving through that constellation, that particular constellation is going to affect the whole earth. And as I said, we're going to be moving into the constellation of Scorpio. Scorpions are deadly, and the god over Scorpio is Mars, the god of war. So So we're going to talk about some kind of an incredible cosmic deadly war. Deadly war. A planetary event, like worldwide event, people get 
uh, 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 angry at each other or something, and there's unrest and political in and social uprising. unrest. Yeah, uprising and riots and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And the worst, and the, here's the part I would I like for everyone to know mm -hmm. that President Trump. President Trump, his particular stars, according to Nostradamus, when he was born, he has the same stars over him that the earth has over it. Mm -hmm. The same stars that are going to affect the earth are going to affect him. Mm -hmm. And he needs to know, he needs to understand that this does not have anything to do with the end of the world and all of that and all the pressure that will come upon him. President Trump needs to know that this has nothing to do with politics or China and Russia and the end of the world and all that stuff. No, it's an astrological phenomenon. <laughs> it's according to the stars. And mm -hmm. there's nothing anyone's going to do to stop it. No wow. one can stop it. Nobody can do anything because it's in the stars. So it's like a can, kind of rebirth. I mean, do you think globalism is gonna is gonna fail, or or and then we're gonna go into some kind of rebirth with this and and build up civilization again, or something, or what? I tell you, I don't know for sure, but I do know that the Earth has cosmic companions. Mm -hmm. We have cosmic companions who decide our destiny for us. Mm -hmm. We don't have any control over what's coming. Spiritually speaking, we have no control over what over our destiny. So it's, it's ludicrous for us to talk about we need to get together and do something to bring about peace and all that. We don't have anything to do with the heavens. Mm -hmm. We can do whatever we want politically, but we can't touch the stars. Mm -hmm. And the stars have already shown us what's coming, so there's nothing we're going to do to stop it. It's in the stars. Mm -hmm. But once you understand how the stars work, which Nostradamus did, and that's Look, why I he's still famous today.